Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by Simple Health, birth control that fits your lifestyle. Simple Health is super simple. You just go online and fill out a health profile, which will then be reviewed by a physician to see if birth control is a good fit for you. Recommendations will be made, a prescription will be written, and if you have health insurance, most likely it will be covered. If not, prescriptions start at $15 a month. Your prescription will ship for free and arrive right to your doorstep. So Simple Health would have been such a great tool for me as a recent college graduate. I didn't know exactly where I was going to be, and if I had Simple Health, I could just simply go online and change my address and my prescription would come directly to me. Such a great tool because then I wouldn't have to worry about any lapses in my prescription. It should be noted that Simple Health is not a replacement for routine checkups with your doctor. If you'd like to try Simple Health for free, click the link down below or head over to simplehealth.com slash Emmy or use my code Emmy at checkout. Big thanks to Simple Health for sponsoring this video and for their continued support. Now today, I'm going to be making a dessert that is inspired by the Ding Dong. Do you know what a Ding Dong is? This is a Ding Dong. Ding Dong! I somehow associate Ding Dongs with breakfast. I'm not exactly sure why. This is not something I ate a lot of when I was a kid, but my mom on occasion would pick up a pack of Ding Dongs or the Hostess chocolate cupcakes just as a treat once in a while. And I have to say, I wasn't a huge fan of them, but I'm going to be making a cake that was inspired by this. And the cake looks absolutely marvelous. Doink. I don't remember the last time I had one of these, but let's go ahead and give it a taste. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Mm. They're fine. Surprisingly, they're not all that chocolatey. I taste more vanilla, I feel like. The coating on the outside is very waxy and doesn't taste all that chocolatey. The cream filling tastes kind of vanilla, it's very fluffy. I would say it's very similar to the fluffy cream filling of a Twinkie. So the recipe I'm going to be using today comes from I Am Baker and I will put a link down below. The first thing we need to do is to prepare our pans. We need two round cake pans, eight inches in diameter, and they need to be three inches tall. This is taller than your standard cake pan. This is important because we don't want the cake batter overflowing into your oven. That would be an utter disaster. <laughs> I cut out two parchment rounds and sprayed the inside with baking spray and then placed my parchment paper at the bottom to ensure that the cake will unmold. In the bowl of your stand mixture, you're going to combine one and three quarters cup of all-purpose flour, two cups of sugar, three quarters of a cup of Dutch processed cocoa powder, two teaspoons of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of kosher salt, and then we're gonna take a whisk and whisk that all together. In a separate bowl, we're gonna combine one cup of buttermilk. We want this to be at room temperature. A half cup of vegetable oil, two extra large eggs, and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Then whisk that all together. Place your bowl of dry ingredients in your stand mixer and on low speed, slowly add your wet ingredients. In between mixing, you wanna make sure you scrape down the sides and the bottom of the bowl. Next, we're gonna add one cup of freshly brewed hot coffee. Now take the batter and divide it equally between the two pans. Bake in a preheated 350 degree oven for 30 to 40 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. When the cakes are done, you're gonna allow them to cool on a rack for 30 minutes before inverting them and allowing them to cool completely. We're gonna be making a special fluffy cream for the filling. So in a saucepan, we're gonna add one cup of whole milk and add five tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Use a whisk and mix this really well. And we're gonna bring this up to a simmer and we're gonna cook this until it's nice and thick. My mixture actually started to scorch on the bottom so I transferred it to a glass bowl and finished whipping it there. I'm gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mine is super thick, this might be too thick. I've never made this recipe before, but we will find out. I'm hoping that it'll still work. So next, we're going to cover this with some plastic wrap and let it cool completely. Now this entire cake is coated in ganache. Now ganache sounds very fancy, but it's actually super simple and delicious. It's simply equal parts chocolate to cream. So we're gonna take two cups of semi-sweet chocolate. I'm just using chocolate chips. Place them in a bowl and then bring two cups of heavy cream to a light simmer. Then pour the hot cream right over your chocolate and let that sit for a few minutes. 
So after a few minutes, you come in with a whisk and gently whisk in the chocolate and it'll begin to melt into that hot cream, into this gorgeous, shiny, luscious chocolate ganache. Now, this is too hot to pour over our cake, so we have to let this cool so it has a thick enough consistency that when we pour it over the cake, we'll get a nice kind of a thick coating. Now I need my hand mixer and I'm gonna plug my hand mixer in for once. Yes. Apparently this kind of frosting is called an ermine frosting. When I think of ermine, I think of a long rodent, kind of like a ferret in shape, but white in color. I think they were used to make fur stoles, but that makes sense. If they're the white ermine I'm thinking of, this is a white fluffy frosting. Okay, let's just go ahead and make this. In a large bowl, we're gonna combine two sticks of butter. This is one cup of room temperature butter. Bunk that in there. And we're gonna combine that with one cup of granulated sugar. So make sure your beaters are in there all the way. Alrighty, I'm gonna beat this up first. Now we're going to add our milk mixture that we made earlier. And then we're gonna beat this until everything is light and fluffy. It's gonna take about eight minutes. I had my kicks cooling on a rack and I turned them upside down. My kicks were a little bit mounded and they cracked a little bit but I don't think that's going to matter too much once we assemble the cake. So place that right in the middle of my cake stand. To keep my cake stand tidy, I'm going to put little squares of parchment paper all the way around because we are going to pour ganache on top of it. This has worked well for me in the past. I think I learned it from Martha. Ready, layer of frosting. Oh, yes. Now I'm going to use my offset spatula and Smooth that out a bit. Now we're gonna put our top layer on. Oh, this is looking fine. Look at that. <laughs> That's a lot of cake. I'm using my spatula to scrape down the sides, patch any of those gaps in the frosting. We are now going to glaze the ding dong cake with the cooled ganache. Now this is still pourable, but it's much thicker than it was when we first melted the chocolate. Are you ready for this? I'm ready for this. Here we go. Oh, honey, baby. That looks so good. Oh, look. Are you seeing this? This is gorgeous. This reminds me a little bit of my Matilda cake from that time when I cooked that cake and it just oozed all over the place. That was fun. <laughs> this is looking beautiful. Liquid chocolate has such a beautiful property of self-leveling and it's so satisfying when you tap chocolate and it just kind of levels on its own. Beautiful. I'm just gonna let this cool for a little while so we have a nice setup layer so when we cut into it, it slices nicely. Alrighty, see in just a little bit. Alrighty, my lovelies, we are back. And look at the beautiful ding dong cake. Isn't it gorgeous? Ganache, just pour ganache over anything and it'll make it look like this. It's so gorgeous, but it is important to get the ganache at the right consistency so that it will do what you want to do. I do have some bubbles, which I find a bit annoying. Pastry chefs, chocolatiers, chocolate experts do tell me why I have bubblage and what I can do in the future to get rid of that because it's otherwise very pristine, but there are some bubbles on top. Alrighty, now for another very satisfying and lovely thing, I'm going to remove all these pieces of parchment around my cake stand and it should reveal a nice, clean, ganache-free stand. Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> oh sir, that is lovely. Can you see that? You just pull that. Oh, careful not to pull your ganache off your cake though. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And there we have it, my lovelies, the beautiful Ding Dong cake. <laughs> it's so lovely, I love it. I love it, so glossy and shiny. Perfect for Valentine's Day. Ooh, dee 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 dee. Okay, I cannot wait to cut into this. I'm gonna cut a big old slice, here we go. Ooh. Oh, 
all the way down. Da, 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 da. Yeah, look at that beautiful cake. Yes, 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 yes. That is gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Alrighty, lovelies, the cake turned out beautifully. I'm so pleased with how even the layers came out. The cream layer is nice and even, as are the cake layers. I was a little bit concerned because my cake did dome a bit, but I just kind of smushed it down. I didn't want to trim it because I really wanted a full fat cake layer, and it looks gorgeous. Here we go. Oh my gosh, look at all this cake. <sighs> oh, itadakimasu. Mm. 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 Beautiful, beautiful chocolate cake. Rich without being overly sweet. Full chocolate flavor. A little hint of coffee, which makes it taste even more chocolate. Lots of vanilla in there. Lovely, absolutely lovely. The ganache layer is Mm. decadent and rich and chocolatey and smooth it has a lovely smooth icing texture to it rather than being waxy and the flavors are so full and rich as well full of chocolate flavor but i love the balance of sweetness the frosting is sweet but the cake layer is not overly so so they kind of offset each other it's really great a very rich decadent beautiful chocolate cake Mm. Not only is this cake delicious, but I think it really captures the essence of a ding dong. It really amplifies those flavors. I think ones that are somewhat lacking in the original really heightens that combination of chocolate and vanilla. And then just for the ding dong gestalt, it just nails it. So there you have it, my lovelies, the beautiful ding dong cake, absolutely great celebration cake. I think it would be great for birthday, Valentine's, holiday, lovely, or just because you want a ding dong cake. Thanks so much for watching and big thanks to Simple Health for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to try Simple Health out for free, click the link down below or head over to simplehealth.com slash Emmy or use my code Emmy at checkout. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. What are you having for dinner? Cake. <laughs>